Hi everyone. Today I'm going to go over using the scroll saw. It's a great tool for using uh, thin wood or even something like foam board and cardboard, which is a great way to start when you're first using this to, to practice. So I'm going to start by going over the major components of this to operate it safely. The first thing you have is a the on-off switch is this red button up top. On, off. There's also a speed dial. Go slow or go fast. I usually have that set at about five or six, right in the middle. This little piece here is to help blow off the dust because if you're following a line, when it's sawing through, it gets a buildup of sawdust and you can't see your line. So this helps blow the sawdust away from your workpiece. And you can kind of move it and set it however you need. All right, so I'm gonna show you just by doing a couple cuts how you can use this tool. You always want to hold your hands very firm on this saw because this is a saw that goes up and down so sometimes it wants to pull the piece up and because of that it can create this wobble if you're not holding it. I'm going to show you the wobble. It's like a cartoon when it goes like okay just watch this. Now you might have noticed a couple things there. You might have noticed that when I wasn't holding it firm, it wobbled, and that can scare kids. That's more likely to cause danger than pushing hard and having your fingers close. You may have your fingers close to this, but like with any tool, you never want to get your hands in front of moving in front of a, a blade going up and down. But as long as you have good control and power, and you can make great cuts with this, uh, the next thing I want to go over is uh, different types of cuts. So to do this, I'm going to have my son Charlie come over and help out. Charlie is a third grader at Orchard, and he's been using a scroll saw since about first grade with a lot of help, and now he kind of uses it independently. And uh, in the shop here, kids will always undergo a training to make sure that they're safe and there will always be an adult present when they are using these tools. But Charlie's going to start by showing you uh, first a straight cut and just try to stay on the line, then a curved cut, uh, and then in this open space that he has left over, he'll do a freehand cut when he's just kind of going any direction he wants. We're going to do this blade, which is a very special blade. It's a spiral blade. What's really cool about that is it can cut in any, any way that it's ever being pushed against. It's cutting. This one only cuts from the front side of the blade. So Charlie, let's go ahead and you have your safety goggles on, okay? Notice it's not touching the blade before he turns it on because that will jam the blade, okay? Go for it. Okay, one thing you may have noticed is once his hands got up high here, you don't have as much control, so he had to kind of readjust and slide his hands back down while still keeping pressure on it. Okay, you did a pretty good job. You stayed close to the line. Okay, now let's show him a curved cut going through there. Okay. Not bad. You kind of came off a line there a little bit, right? That's okay. You always can redo it. And if that's the piece you're keeping, you might have to redo it. If this is the piece you're keeping, you can still cut more off. Okay. All right. Now let's show them how, since this is a spiral blade, let's show them how you can cut out, like go to the middle and maybe cut out like a circle. Okay.
that's not a circle, but what'd you make? What is that? What have you been making for gifts? Puzzles. Puzzles, yeah. So that's like a puzzle piece. Okay. And I'm going to show the same type of thing uh, on a piece of wood where I've drawn the lines. And if you get close, you can kind of see, uh, I'm even going to use the blade where it, where it only cuts from the straight angle to show you how you're, I'm kind of positioning my hands. So just watch as I twist and turn and kind of pay attention to how tight my grip is and where my fingers go. I won't bore you with the rest, but uh, I was a little rusty. I came off my lines a little bit, but uh, this is a great uh, tool for doing lots of intricate cuts on small, thin wood. So uh, great tool, very safe, and in another video, I might go over changing the blade uh, and how we deal with that if it breaks, because if you push too fast, you can snap the blade. It's pretty wobbly there and thin. So that's the basics of the scroll saw. Uh, a fun, safe tool for kids. Uh, and again, this is not a necessarily a, a specific like third grade and up. It, it's more when a child demonstrates that they are ready. So hope you enjoyed and there'll be more later.